Hennessy, I dare you to swing our light. <gasps> Such a rebel. Okay, I'm gonna get sick. Okay. Are you though? <laughs> <laughs> What the light? Oh, I guess. <laughs> having a boy Good morning, everyone. Hello. It's not morning anymore. I know. We suck today. It's lunchtime. Missy just convinced me to take her to Olive Garden. <laughs> okay, that's not. I was honestly going to it's go get true. Him food. Yeah, but then, then you just made it seem like going to Olive Garden was my idea, <laughs> and then I agreed. I don't know how it happened. Just it was one, your idea. You came One moment I was it. like, no, we're not going to Olive Garden, and the next moment we're like, all right, let's go. We're going to Olive Garden. <laughs> this is how it works. <laughs> In the end, whatever. We're going to Olive Garden. Yay! Um, I'm feeling a lot better this morning. I got a tweet from someone, this, this buddy I follow in the UK, and he said that I just have man flu. And I was like, what's man flu? I never heard of man flu. And so I Googled it and apparently it's a UK phrase given when you you say like a guy has man flu but he just has the cold, but we exaggerate. That was not the cold, I'll tell no. you that right now. <laughs> I actually did have food poisoning and it was very painful. It was horrible. It was, when I'm saying he was violently ill, he was seriously violently ill. So we're sitting right now in a booth that we have to Opposite of each other, and it's not. Fun. I miss you. I want you next to me. Are you happy? You got your chicken gnocchi soup. I guess I can't complain. It's only five ninety five. And? But you better. It's not that many calories either. Ah, uh, that's true. So I mean, that's good. You're still gonna have to go for a walk later. Yes, <laughs> we're gonna go on a walk. Missy's on her fourth apple juice. Look at her getting faded. Hey Missy, I dare you to swing our light. <gasps> Such a rebel. <laughs> what number of apple juice is that, Missy? <laughs> what? It's five. Five. <laughs> our baby better be doing like. He is. Is he really freaking out? I have to pee now. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realized. This morning I woke up and um, I watched a video, a YouTube video, and it was really funny and I started like laughing and stuff. And as I was laughing, like my chest was like hurting a lot. And um, then in the car, Missy was saying stuff and then I was laughing and I was like, oh my chest, like it's hurting to laugh. And I just realized like I'm so sore yesterday, like my back is sore, my chest is sore. Uh, from throwing up so much yesterday. It's very uncomfortable. I think I really need to take it easy today because it still is like very sore. Tender. Yeah, I'm tender. I'm finding that a lot of people nowadays, now that I'm getting so big, people want to know how far along I am. And the thing that it drives me crazy is they always ask me in months. And I really don't pay attention to months. I only pay attention to weeks. Like I'm 22 weeks. I don't know how, I mean, I know how many months, but it's hard because I don't think in months. And But people ask that, it's like usually older people though, ask me by months. Yeah, and it's I, older people and, and non-pregnant people. Yeah, and because they, they don't know how, how many weeks, like weeks maybe that's just not how what they go by. They, all they know is that you're pregnant for nine months. It would take forever if I thought in months. It would take me four weeks to get to the next month. I need to be in another in another number by the next week. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I'm laying here trying to relax. Um, and I'm, I'm not feeling... going to miss his birthday right now. <laughs> yeah, he's been slacking today. But yeah, I'm laying here trying to relax and I'm feeling obviously him cake a lot. And I'm kind of freaking out though because he's... I'm not freaking out. That's not, that's an exaggeration. But I'm worried because I'm feeling the kicks a lot down low. And I'm really worried he... He turned, but I never felt anything. But of course, I know that sometimes you don't feel it. But I mean, it could be very well just like his hands pushing, maybe. But I'm worried that he's kicking down here or something. I wish we had an ultrasound machine in our house. Me too. So we could just like look at him all the time. Yeah, I know. I hope that he didn't turn. Oh, I read on the um. Uh, 
one of the pregnancy apps that I have, mm -hmm. that now we can hear his heartbeat with a stethoscope. Oh, I did see that. That's pretty interesting. I bet yeah. it's really hard to find, huh? I don't know. It might not be that hard. You should try. We don't have a stethoscope, but we do have a Doppler. Oh. <laughs> I just got this awesome package from my mom. And it was actually two packages. One to Oliver James and then one to Missy and I. Um, but she sent us a camo shirt that says Young Buck on it. Because um, if you don't know, my parents are hunters and they live in Idaho. And so that is why it's a camo shirt. <laughs> I'm not sure if he'll be a hunter, whatever he decides he wants to do. But then I also got these awesome Boise State onesies. These are freaking adorable. If you don't know, I actually attended Boise State. Um, that's where I went to college. And so I still actually like root for them when I get to watch them on uh, TV. But Missy's not really a big fan of football, so I don't get to watch a lot of it. <laughs> uh, but we got this one. It says Rookie. And then this one is like my favorite. I just love the typeface of Boise State. Um, and it's blue and orange, and then this one's really cool too. Boy State Broncos. So now, little Oliver and I can, well, Missy's gonna be outnumbered actually, because it'll be Oliver and I, and we can now watch Boise oh, State. Oh really, you're gonna, watch, you're gonna watch a game? I've been laying here for quite a while, you know, really trying to figure it out. Also, someone suggested to check and see where the heartbeat is. If it's down low, then he's probably head down. If it's up high, then he might be. Um, breach. I did the heartbeat and it's um, down low, so I think that means that he could be still breach or still be head down, and um, and then obviously if my if their kicks are not down near his cervix, then I feel like they're probably punches and they're near his. So maybe he just discovered his hands. And then by laying here, I finally felt them where I usually do up high. So I'm I'm feeling like I might have panicked a little. <laughs> I just discovered where I left my measuring tape. Funny thing is, is I left it right where it's supposed to be. That was Clad242, he does the talking animals on YouTube thing, but I think, was that like oh, a promo for... That's actually a, a different person. Oh, really? Yeah, it says Pets Ad Life. It sounded like the same guy, though. Oh, no, he, he's doing ads now oh, for, okay, um, like, yeah. encouraging people to, like, get sheltered cats that's and stuff like right. that. Karma, 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 karma boy. She's so excited. Karma. Wait, 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 wait. There's a lot of stuff back here. You ready to go to the park, boy? Are you ready to go to the park and play with your ball? So me and Brian are taking Karma to the doggy park. So we always take him to the, that one park. Um, but he always comes home smelling so gross. So we're taking him to this new one, but I don't necessarily like this park because the, they don't play on grass. They play on like dirt and it kind of tears up his feet and so I don't like the park. But we're gonna try it out and see how it works. So yeah, this is what they play on. It's like rock dirt and it's just, I'm afraid, and, he, and when he runs, he slides and like tries to like jump from walls. looks like he's like, he's very uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I feel so bad, I feel like he's gonna hurt his feet. Ready? Be nice, Karma. Be nice. Smell his butt like a good little dog. There you go. <laughs> go get it. Oh. He's not even going near the ball. <laughs> It got cold so fast out there. I actually have the heat on now. Yeah, that was really terrible. It like it went to like 56 it said. So, we had to stop and get Frosties from Wendy's because what's better than a nice cold frosty <laughs> on what used to be a warm day. <laughs> and now it's all dreary and I actually love ice cream on cold days. Because one, it doesn't melt as soon as you get it. And <laughs> okay. two, it's just delicious. I don't know.
I've always loved like chocolate ice cream on a cold day. See? Oh, they had a little summer. You okay, boy? Yeah, I'm sorry. Fun. It's worth it. Sorry, boy. Come on. Come on, come here, 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 come here
She loves her crying. She was just sitting down and then I, I just like pulled her close to me and then this is how she fell. 